Hello, and welcome to your Friday Extra. My name is Sarah, and this is your Bronx Business and Community News Update for January 21st, 2022. We've got a packed Friday e newsletter, so be sure to read thoroughly for legislative updates and also events highlights for the coming week. The NYC Hospitality Alliance is sharing an important opportunity with designers, architects, restaurateurs, and others to inform the future of outdoor dining structures in the five boroughs. We encourage you to submit your ideas and work, highlighting innovative designs, materials, and methodologies that can inform design policy for the city's open restaurants outdoor dining program. We are also pleased to announce that on January 19th, the full board of the New York State Liquor Authority voted unanimously in favor of an advisory that will make it easier for entrepreneurs opening bars and restaurants to obtain their liquor licenses. Also on the advocacy front, the five NYC borough chambers have issued an updated statement on the American Innovation and Choice Online Act, which we believe will significantly limit the opportunities that entrepreneurs and startups have to see a return on their investment. You can access the full statement in our e-newsletter. On the small business grants front, we encourage you to check out the Women of Color grant opportunity for which applications close on February 9th. On to events. We encourage you to visit our website, business dot bronxchamber.org forward slash events for our full events calendar so you don't miss out on any of the opportunities being brought to you by the Bronx Chamber and our partners. Next week we've got the Bronx Budget Roadshow with Governor Kathy Hochul's office, an info session on the new Bronx Metro North stations co-hosted by NYC Planning, EDC learning session for NYC industrial and manufacturing companies, a virtual meet and greet with the Hearst companies, and an MWBE certification intro. Lastly, with the pandemic continuing to challenge our city's small businesses at every turn, the Bronx Chamber is thrilled that Council Member Julie Menon has been named as Chair of the Committee on Small Business. With expansive credentials as a prior small business owner, Chair of a Community Board, and Commissioner of several city agencies that oversaw the reduction of small business fines by millions of dollars, she will be an ideal representative and partner as we focus on ongoing recovery and positioning our city's small businesses for success in a post-COVID future. That's all for this week's Friday Extra. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.